Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have another 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. And this capsule is for the Parisian Style Challenge on Instagram, hosted by Jessica and Brie. I'm really excited to be doing this challenge again because I feel like it really gets your creativity going. I also love the community aspect of it, being able to connect with others doing the challenge and see how they style their capsules. And in today's video, I wanted to just show you how I planned this capsule, how I shopped my closet, and also just some pointers when you're putting together your own capsule wardrobes that'll hopefully be helpful for you. And of course, if you want to see any of the looks and how I actually style these pieces, definitely follow me on Instagram. In fact, by the time I post this video, the challenge would have already started. So I'll have all my daily looks up there for you to check out how I put this capsule wardrobe into action. first thing that I like to do when I create my capsule wardrobes is to set the mood and in this case I already have that kind of done because the challenge is themed Parisian chic. When I think about Parisian style I often think about something that is classic, elegant, practical and simple, very effortlessly chic, never overdone, never overdressed. I also think of just really classic prints, neutral colors but with a hint of like feminine and dainty feels but a nice juxtaposition of masculinity at the same time so lots of adjectives but these are the type of descriptions that I need so when I'm shopping my closet I can pick out pieces that kind of fit that overall theme and mood that I'm going for with the capsule. Once I do that, I also like to pick a color palette. To be completely honest, I kind of just did the color palette as I picked out my pieces. So I already kind of had an idea of what I wanted the style to be, like I said, those adjectives that I listed before. So my color palette is pretty much just neutral colors because I want it like that classic timeless look, as well as some neutral prints. As much as I love like neutral and solid colors, I really love color and I really love prints as well. So I thought it would be fun to incorporate some different prints that were still in neutral colors. And I also have pops of color in my accessories, which I'll get to soon. When it comes to inspiration, I pretty much just looked on Instagram actually. I use like the search feature for the inspiration. I find that I've been using that more than Pinterest lately. I think that's just because I feel like it's less saturated and I love the search feature on Instagram. You can look up like anything, it could just be a hashtag or just a phrase and then it'll be like related posts. So it's fun because I'm able to come across new content creators and fashion bloggers and I just feel like it's just less saturated as I mentioned before. So I did a little saving on Instagram with some inspiration but for the most part I already kind of had an idea of the style that I was going for just because I'm really familiar with the idea of a Parisian style. So before we get into the 10 pieces, I wanted to talk about the accessories of today's capsule. Since I'm working with some basic pieces in a small wardrobe, I feel like my accessories really do make the difference in this capsule wardrobe. To start off, I have jewelry from Ana Luisa. They're one of my favorite places for sustainable feminine pieces. I really just love how their pieces are elegant and simple. Two words that I'm using to describe that Parisian style, so it's perfect for that. Today I have on this cute little initial necklace that I've been wearing non-stop. I just love how simple it is and it's very personal to me and I like how it has like something that is, well it's my name so, or my initial. So I just like how it's kind of made just for me. And then I also have these beautiful hoop pearl earrings. I love these. Surprisingly these are really easy to wear. Like they seem like they're going to be much of a statement. But I feel like the sleek and simple style still makes them wearable even for like every day like with a t-shirt and jeans or even like a nice skirt. And then also I'm pairing it with a very simple necklace so they complement each other well. I really love the fact that this plays on two very classic styles like a hoop and then pearl and puts the two together into a unique style. So that's what I mean. It's simple but it's still elegant and I love wearing these as well. I also have a pair of hoops from Ana Luisa called the Paris Hoops and I've had these for a while and I wanted to include them in today's capsule because honestly just the name and I think that they go well with the style. They're definitely a more like laid back style compared to these so when the outfits for like a day outfit I would wear my Paris hoops and then for something a little bit more dressed up I would definitely swap and wear these. I was actually introduced to Ana Luisa when I bought a gift from my mom. It was my parents anniversary and I wanted to get her something that was elegant and feminine and good quality but also reasonably priced and Ana Luisa just like checked off all those boxes and after I got her her gift I was really impressed with Ana Luisa's quality and I wanted some pieces for myself. So I just like the fact that the first thing that I always think about when I work with Ana Luisa when I purchase from them 
is that it's a good place to go for gifts for others. They have such elegant and simple pieces. Their presentation is really nice as well. And right now they're actually doing a buy one, get one, 40% off sale. So you can get something for yourself and something for someone else. I'm gonna have all the details about the sale linked in the description bar below, along with the pieces that I'm wearing today. And you can check out any one of my videos where I talk about Ana Luisa's pieces. I really do stand by their quality. I've had their pieces now for years and they just still look as new as the day I got them and even gifts I've given others they really appreciate them well and they're still holding up quite nicely the next two accessories I have are two bags the first one is this cute little bucket bag I love the style of this the size and I like how practical it is I can fit so much in here but I don't feel like it's overwhelming and then I just have another neutral bag but this time in the other color of the color palette and I love the strap on this bag it kind of reminds me of those Paris hoops so just like really small details matching each other other with all the outfits. I've also included this cute little red scarf. I feel like this is such a quintessential piece when you think of Parisian style, even almost dare I say cliche, but I couldn't resist and I thought that it would be fun to add a pop of red color into the capsule just with my accessories. Now how I plan to style this is actually just like having it tied on to my bags to add like a subtle pop of color, but I can also like wear it in my hair as like an accessory if I wanted to. I'll see what I end up doing in some of the outfits, but I definitely will do tying it onto the bags. As for the shoes, I'm not limiting myself to these two pairs, but these will be my most worn. First, I have these cute little black ballet flats. I personally really love the fact that these kind of embody that Parisian style, in my opinion. It's never overdone or overdressed, as I mentioned before, and it's never going to sacrifice comfort for style. Instead, it finds a nice balance, and I think that these shoes do that. They're comfortable, but they're still really chic because of the pointy style. Same thing with the heels. They're a low heel, so even like a closed toe kitten heel would work. And they're a black heel, so they're comfortable and they're practical, but they're still stylish. So they're a nice effortless style. Now let's go into the 10 items. So I mentioned in my how to create a capsule wardrobe for your style that I usually separate my capsule into two different groups. I have my personality pieces and then I have like my basic pieces. So my personality pieces for this capsule are just like the Parisian theme that I was going for and then I'll have my year round basics. So to start off I have this cute little get em skirt from Classy Loft. I love this. This just perfectly fits in with the color palette. I like the fact that it adds some print and pattern to the capsule wardrobe and I love how classic Ginnam is and also even the style and silhouette of the skirt is quite classic and elegant. And then I have this top from Modern Citizen that I have been dying to wear since spring started. I love the way it looks, like the wrap detail. I can wear it in the back or the front. So whenever I am planning my capsule wardrobes, I always try to look for pieces that I can wear multiple ways, especially with this being only 10 days. I don't want to get bored, and I also just want to make sure I'm making the most of my clothing pieces. So I love the fact that I'm going to be able to wear this shirt, like have this tie here in the front for like an effortless like knot look, or wear it in the back like with a bow. Next, I have the trench coat. This is such a classic piece, and I know honestly it's very cliche. I feel like if you look up the actual like aesthetic of Parisian style, you see a lot of trench coats. I couldn't resist. I really was going for that in this capsule. So I'm very excited to pull this out, and I really think it helps finish off my outfits for an elegant but still kind of relaxed vibe. For the last two personality pieces, I have this beautiful satin shirt. This piece is so elegant yet effortless. It's perfect for this capsule. I love wearing this. You've seen this so many times already. And I really like to wear it with denim. I like the juxtaposition of the textures. And then the other piece that I have is this beautiful little dainty floral dress. It's in neutral colors, so it's not like screaming that it's floral, but it still lends more to that feminine style, and I really love it for that. I also like the fact that I can dress this up and down. I actually, I think in one of my videos, like day to night outfits, I showed you how I could style this for a outfit during the day and also one during the night. So it's quite a versatile piece. And I like it for the spring because the um, kind of sleeves are sheer. So I don't feel like it's too heavy, but it's also a really nice piece to have for those cooler days. Next, I have my basic pieces. So these are my year round pieces that I wear throughout the entire year. Anytime I do a capsule wardrobe, I basically have my 
personality pieces and my seasonal pieces and then I pull these in these are just basic pieces and you've seen them in my year on capsule wardrobe video so for this particular one I picked out two t-shirts I have a white one that's in a looser material and a black one that's fitted these are both from Riona and I really love the quality of both of these I wear these all the time and then I have two pairs of jeans the first one are just my classic black mom jeans and then I have a blue pair of jeans that are in a skinny style so when I'm working with capsule wardrobes I try to think about adding some variety to keep things interesting and to mix it up so instead of having just two like mom jeans in different washes I wanted to have two totally different styles so if one day I feel like wearing a mom jean style I can wear the black ones but if I want something a little bit more fitted I can wear the skinny jeans so just like a little tip when you're putting together a small wardrobe never feel like you have to just have like a very specific style like you can mix it up by having some variety even within the same categories and then lastly I have this beautiful flowy skirt so I have that like pattern skirt but then I just wanted a neutral skirt that I could wear on the days for worship and I love the effortless feel of this because it's so flowy and it's really comfortable it's also just really feminine because of the fabric and I love how this looks with a basic t-shirt Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end of today's video. I'll have all the details about Ana Luisa's buy one get one 40% off sale linked in the description bar below. And hopefully I'll be able to see you up on Instagram because I will be styling all these pieces into outfits for the next week and a half. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you all again. Bye!